Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at the sine wave Arduino example in a bit more detail. We will start by looking at the MagunaLink interface. As mentioned in the previous video, we have the connection manager which handles the serial connection. We have a monitor which is displaying the raw serial messages received. In this case, you can see the raw message format for the plotting data on the time plot visualizer. The formatting of these messages is handled by our Arduino library. And finally, on the bottom, we have the actual time plot visualizer, which is plotting data extracted from those raw messages. If we now look at the Arduino program, we have included the MagunaLink library. We have created a time plot object called myplot. We have initialized the serial port. And in the setup function, we have actually configured some of the settings for the plot. You can see we are sending messages to set the title, the X label, and the Y label. We are also setting some of the series properties, such as the color of the lines, the thickness, and marker types. One thing to remember is the setup function is only run once when the program first starts, so if MagunaLink misses the configuration messages, it will not have another opportunity to get them. One way around this is to periodically, say every 10 seconds, resend the configuration messages. Then in the loop, we are doing the math to calculate our sine and cosine values, and then sending these values to MagunaLink using our myplot object. We call the senddata function of myplot. We specify a series name, in the first case it's sine wave, and we include the sine value calculated earlier. We do the same for the cosine data, this time with cosine wave as a series name. Each of these send data lines generates the raw messages you see in the MagunaLink monitor. Note how we do not need to specify a time. MagunaLink is actually timestamping the data as it arrives. Finally, we also include a small delay, in this case 10 milliseconds, so as to not overwhelm MagunaLink with serial messages. This wraps up the video. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.